Hey guys, welcome to Explain America. I'm your host, Carmine Sabia, and we have a big story for you today out of the Senate. But first, before we get started, as always, please make sure you hit the like button, the share button, and leave a comment. And of course, if you're on YouTube or Rumble, smash that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Helps a small channel like ours continue to grow and get the conservative message out to the people and kind of beat those social media algorithms. So we need your help with that. We do appreciate it, and thank you. Okay, so on Thursday, the Democrats got some really bad news. As you know, they have a 50-50 split in the Senate. The only thing that gives them a majority is the tie-breaking vote of Vice President Kamala Harris. With that being said, they need all 50 senators to vote on a party line every single time to get legislation passed with Kamala Harris being the deciding vote, provided they don't get any Republican support, which sometimes with a Susan Collins or a Mitt Romney or a Lisa Murkowski You kind of never know. But right now, they're down one because Senator Patrick Leahy, 82 years old, longest reigning senator in the history of the United States, is in the hospital. He was hospitalized on Thursday, and right now, doctors are saying it's just a precautionary measure. It actually brings up a very interesting point because his seat is now going to become available in the upcoming election. Why? Because last year, he announced that he was retiring from the Senate. I mean, the guy's been serving since Moses had short pants, so it's probably time for him to get going. And, you know, it, it, it's a big, big seat. And also, with the midterms coming up right now, you know, we have a really good chance for the Republicans to take back the Senate. And we're pretty much sure they're going to take back the House. Thing is... Of course, we don't want to see them go down a vote because somebody gets sick or injured or something horrible happens to them. So, of course, we wish Senator Leahy the best. We're praying for his speedy recovery, for his health, and for his family. But I think the Democrats, this is almost like a wake-up call to them. When you look at their leadership, you have a president who's pushing 80. You have Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, at the age of 82. Schumer is old. All of the people in their party leadership are old. And and the thing is, Patrick Leahy, he's the president pro tempore of the Senate. And what that means is he's third in line of succession to the presidency. So God forbid something happened to the president and the vice president and the speaker. And I mean, these people are, you know, together a lot. He would become the president of the United States. So his position is not just symbolic. It is an important position. And I think it it speaks to the need of the Democrats to have new, younger leadership like the Republicans have. You know, they talk about Republicans being old, but you have Ron DeSantis, you have Ted Cruz, you have Rand Paul, you have Marco Rubio. You have so many young Republicans in the Senate. So I think, you know, people maybe focus on Leader McConnell, but they don't focus on a lot of the young talent that's coming on in the Republican Party, whereas the Democrats look really old, really out of step, and really out of touch. Of course, as I said, we wish the senator well, but this is why the election is so big this year. So got to make sure you vote and you vote Republican on November 8th. Hey, guys, thanks once again for joining us here on Explain America. I'm your host, Carmine Sabia. Again, please make sure you like, you comment, you share, you subscribe. I don't care what your comment is. It could be anything. You guys gave me some great recipes the other day. Leave some recipes in the comment. Doesn't matter to me. Tell us what you think of the video today. Tell us what you think of the Democrat Party or the Republican Party. What are your predictions for the midterms? We'd love to hear all that stuff. Also, if you are on Rumble or YouTube, please make sure you subscribe. It's so important. God bless you. Take care, everybody.